Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, earlier OTF affiliate. You know, Buka 600 took to his Instagram account to speak about the most incriminated app on social media, a.k.a. Clubhouse. <laughs> you know, now I always tell you all that Clubhouse is the devil. And personally, I think it was created by the feds themselves, because between guys getting on there and speaking about bodies that they may have caught or know about or making threats to their ops about what they're going to do when they see them. It's no way that the dudes who we don't even expect to be doing that go and crash out the way they be doing and i'm assuming buka feels the same way because he has some interesting words for the guys that be on clubhouse arguing back and forth now let's get into what buka had to say now keep in mind also you know he didn't specify who he was talking about but we do know that not only you know his ops you know and guys that he don't rock with like Mimo 600 be on there but we do know some of the guys over there at otf do as well you know, lately we've been seeing Lil Varney, he's been on there going back and forth a lot as well. So, like I said, keep in mind that he didn't specify, however, Mimo was the one that kind of responded, but we're going to get into all that later. So, Buka took to his Instagram account and posted a picture of himself, followed by a caption that said, quote, Clubhouse remind me of the can when guys used to argue behind the doors knowing they'll never be out at the same time. Crying laughing emoji, and then he said the P word, aka, you know, the woman's private part. Now, you see a couple guys in the comments such as Duty Low, DQ, Chino, and THF Low Law, and they pretty much agreeing with Buka. Now, for y'all that don't get the comparison he's trying to make, he's referring to being locked up. And when you see a certain, you know, when you on a certain, you know, level of the housing unit in that jail, you don't get to go out with other housing units. It's kind of hard to explain, but you, you know, if you know, you know, it's one of those situations, but you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. So sometimes guys may see their ops and make all kinds of threats because they know that they'll never really be next to each other based off their housing. And on Clubhouse, it's kind of like the same thing. These guys get to talk to their ops. However, and, and you know, nobody's meeting up. <laughs> Nobody talking about seeing each other, really. Just a whole lot of threats and entertainment for the people that's watching. Other than that, that's where it stops. You know, and I'm not promoting, you know, anybody to go meet up and do any of that stuff i always found that kind of weird too you know i don't get it you even if you arguing with somebody you tell them yo i'm here meet up right now what makes you think that somebody gonna come there <laughs> you know you got the upper hand because you told me to meet you here even if i tell you to meet me in my hood why would i do that you know why would i go it makes no sense you know now me personally i always find it weird seeing these guys go back and forth with each other knowing that it's real smoke between them you know like, imagine knowing that this guy did something to your homie that isn't here anymore, or he's affiliated with somebody that did something, or he's affiliated with, with whatever group of guys that don't like y'all, and y'all talking with each other on social media. You know, I, it's just weird, you know? Speaking to your ops, period, to me, is weird. I guess I was just brought up in a different time, so I don't know. But anyway, Mimo caught winner of the post from Buka 600, and I guess he took offense because y'all know that Mimo done argued with the whole world on Clubhouse by now. But let's be real, nine times out of ten, we know he was referring to Mimo. Or he could have been talking about some of the guys too, because I, like I said earlier, you know, Lil Varney been on there going back and forth as of lately as well. Then we see um, Big Wani, you know, and a couple of the other Obot guys. So, it could be a little jab or some, or maybe he just really not with it. And he don't care who it is, whether it's his ops, whether it's the friends, whoever. So anyway, Mimo posted under the comment and he said, quote, Alexa, play Missy Elliott, the rain, crying, laughing emoji. 
Now for y'all, you know, the little youngins that's tuned into this, if y'all don't know what Mimo is referring to, if you watch Missy Elliott, the rain video, she has on this legendary black plastic garbage bag looking suit that she's known for, man. She went viral for it before viral was viral. So if you look at the pic uh, Buka poster and he's wearing like an all black jumper, it kind of looks similar to what Missy Elliott was wearing. So I guess Mimo had a few jokes up his sleeve or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, Mimo been on the road too. He's been popping up in Chicago, dropping locations after he was told he couldn't go back to his hood. He's doing interviews with DJ UTV, the whole nine yards, man. So uh, it just is what it is, man. Other than that, y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this. You know, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.